morning. Well, our sun is shining nice and bright this morning. No rain. And when I go to pick up my groceries later on, they're going to see me coming. <laughs> Unless I change back into my old bus depot shirt because I don't want to get this one dirty handling the grocery boxes and what have you. Uh, we'll see what happens. I just want to interrupt here to say that I'm going to be putting this morning's sunrise at the end of today's episode. Uh, it's nothing special again. You might call it colorful. I did the time-lapse thing. I sped it up 60 times. It lasts about a minute and a half. In real life, it lasted an hour and a half. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, and it'll be, like I say, at the end of today's episode. Anyway, I'm noticing that our bird feeder there is getting a little bit low. We're going to have to do something about that. Now, I did come back to the model table last night. And uh, you probably can't see it, but you will in the rollback. Uh, we've got a little bit done. Got that little tiny railing on. Well, it, once again, I don't want to spoil a surprise, so maybe what we should do is just roll back. Now, I meant to mention this before. And I keep forgetting, so I'll mention it now. You'll probably notice that the background noise and from one scene to another will change. Like right now, you can probably hear that the... sounds like there's something running in the background. Well, it's, my air conditioner's running. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not. So sometimes there'll be no background noise. And other, at other times there'll be this sort of a... Well, you can hear it. Now, this uh, steel dowel that I've got here, I believe is about the correct diameter. And if I can get this to, to sort of wrap around. Now, I, I think that I should maybe have something a little softer than this. A uh, piece of rubber or something like that. I'm just, I'm just going to recompose here. Now I couldn't find the piece of rubber that I remember using before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the green cloth here. And then, I don't know if I've ever done it exactly like this before, but if we could go underneath a little bit. Oh, careful Ron. Just sort of squeeze it around. Is this going to work or is it going to turn out to be a disaster? Maybe I'll try the other tweezers. Okay. Now, I think we got the diameter right. Whoops! <gasps> that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I want to try and open it out here. It's there, it's not even though. Okay, this one is a way I'm gonna have to roll it and pull on it. Maybe that'll work. It's hard to get a hold of. I'm just I'm just making a real mess of it here. I'm gonna have to do this off camera. I mean, we're we're kind of getting it, but it's it's not uh I think I should be able to flatten that out. Yeah, that, that, that actually came out not too bad. It's pretty even. Well, let's let's uh, try it on the part now and see how it looks.
All right, I think if I put some CA glue along the bottom rail, that's going to have to do. Maybe it could go... That is somewhat better. I suppose I could spread it a bit at the back where it comes up against the mast. But I, I think I'm going to just leave well enough alone here. going to happen. Well, I'm going to have to fasten that on there with something. Maybe tape it down somehow. Or maybe I could use the, uh, the holder downer. Now I took uh, two or three snapshots of how I'm set up here so that you can see and I am using the holder downer. I don't think it's going to uh, fall off now. Just want to get that to wick its way around. Why is that not sticking? Why is that not sticking? Oh, okay, it will now. I don't know if I can move it or if it's... No, oh, it's, it's pretty well glued in place there. Okay, at arm's length that's going to look alright. Now, we've got to get this piece on. I'm hoping that the CA glue didn't plug the hole that I need. got to think upside down here. It has to go like so. I think once again, well maybe, maybe the uh, extra thin quick setting will be good for this. Maybe. You know what, I think the CA glue is, is still, still wet there. How could that be? Or maybe it's just the sh maybe it's just the way it's shining. Let's put the macro lens back on. Okay, I'm not even seeing the hole there. I don't remember having ever seen a hole there. Come to think of it. Okay, this is the uh, this is the quick setting. I'm hoping it's going to dissolve the plastic. Just about exactly the way I wanted it. Now, after this, after this dries, I'll reinforce around the bottom there, just just a little bit with uh, with CA to sort of build it up. Okay, this is the CA medium, and I realize that it's gonna we're gonna lose the detail, but I'd sooner sort of build it up around around there and just. Uh, Now 
Okay, let's just let that cure overnight. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. In fact, it's almost exactly 12 hours ago that we put this CA medium on here. Well, it should be it should be cured now, right? All right, let's see if we can carefully turn this over now. Hold it the other way. Now we've got some more parts to put on here. Okay, now if I look very carefully at the manual, it appears that this lower one sits on this bottom ring, or rather the top ring. And uh, this is the uh, first time I'm trying this, so we're just going to have to see how it's going to go here. think that this, you notice that there's a bit of a slot there. Well, that slot is, I'm trying not to squeeze this too hard because, oh, I don't want to bend it out of shape. There must be a better way to grab hold of this where I can squeeze it hard. Maybe on that, on that wider part there. It, it looks like it's going to have to be sort of forced on because it doesn't want to, doesn't seem to want to go, so. Hmm. Is there flashing on there that's holding this up or? Where's my hobby knife here? this down just a little bit. Now, same thing on the other side. Get that out of the way. I don't think there's any flashing there, but there might have been something. You can see that there's that's going to have made a difference or not. I might have to do this off camera. Well, I think I'm going to have to do it off camera and then we'll look at it after I get it on there. Anyway, you get the idea of how it's supposed to go. Okay, here's what's happened. I found that the mast was a little bit out of round, and it was narrower one way than the other. So I, by turning this, this uh, antenna about 45 degrees off kilter, it slipped onto the mast, and then when I twisted it you know, straight like it is now, it uh, was a, a very snug fit, but not so snug that it, you know, can't be knocked loose. So I'm going to take some CA medium here, and, and it's upside down, as you can see. And we'll put some, a little right along the bottom there. Um, 
yeah, on the underside where it won't be seen. Not not that you're going to see it anyway. Um, maybe let's uh, slip on the macro lens here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the cure normally. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using the curing agent or not. I, th I think that's pretty square. And uh, let's turn everything over here. I seem to have bent one of the antennas. Well, we'll straighten it out after it's after it's cured. Um, yeah. Now we've got to get this one on the top here, and then see. This isn't. Uh, yeah. If I can get this down and just that's a little better. Now this one on the for the top. I'm going to make a prediction. These are not going to survive. I'm hoping that I can build this this whole thing as a module and then put it away and then it will be one of the last things we we put on. Well, this one fits better. So we just kind of get it got to get it squared up here and then yeah. Maybe I'll use the uh, CA extra thin on that so it will uh, cure right away. That's yeah, that, that's probably going to be better. Then then this one here has to be folded down, and this this one here has to be folded up, and these pieces here are supposed to fasten together. Um, maybe the thing to do might be to 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 bend these. Uh, in position before I actually glue this in case they don't want to line up later and that way we can uh, apply the glue after everything's sort of lined up at least uh, that's the plan well the morning is gone I got busy I guess you'd say with life life got in the way of the model table now if you remember when this thing was upside down, um, I just said I was just going to put some CA on the on the underside there. Well, I decided I better put it on the top. When, once it's once it's sprayed, we're not going to notice that there's that there's CA right there. No, I was just thinking afterwards. Okay, if you remember I was saying that this this tongue here has to go fold down. This one has to fold up, and I am wondering, is this going to bend at the folding lines here now, or is it going to twist this uh, this antenna? I haven't tried it. I should have maybe bent this when it was in Andy's uh, photo edge bender, but it's too late now. No, you know what? It is bending. It is it is twisting. Now you you would have thought, and unless I you know what I'm wondering if I maybe put this the wrong way. Well, it's too late now. It's glued on. If I could grab hold of it. Um, now I don't know if I can do this on camera or not. I may have to do this off camera. I could just grab hold of it like this and hold it flat then I could bend this one up and this one can come off 
and then we can put it in Andy's bender and, and bend it. It'll help to hold, although I don't know if I can get the nose of the bender to, to grab onto something that fine. <clears throat> um, I'm going to have to do this off camera. You know what, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this episode uh, uh, quits, even though it's not as long as yesterday's. And uh, we'll come at this again tomorrow, in tomorrow's episode, <laughs> which will be uh, starting later, probably this afternoon. All being well, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>